This is Jay Mills from iPhoneBlogger.com. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do an untethered jailbreak on the Apple TV second generation. Uh, we're going to be using a program called Season Pass. It's by a company called Firecore. Uh, it's kind of like Ponage Tool and Snowbreeze where it creates a custom firmware for you. So um, for software you're going to need the Season Pass program um, and you're also optionally going to need uh, IPSW for 4.3 which is the latest Apple TV firmware at the time that I'm making this tutorial. Um, if you don't already have it downloaded, you don't really need to download it because Season Pass will download it for you automatically. But um, I'm just I have mine downloaded just so it goes faster for the tutorial. But other than that, for software, you're also going to need the latest iTunes, iTunes 10.4. So um, that's it for software. In terms of hardware, you just need the Apple TV um, box right here. You don't even need the power cable to jailbreak, so you don't you don't need to have that um, near you. Other than that, you also need a um, the Apple TV 2G remote control right here. This is what we're going to use to actually put the device into DFU mode, so you need that. And then you also need a micro USB cable right here. And I just want to say one thing about the micro USB cables. Uh, the Apple TV seems to be really picky about what kind of cable you can use. Um, I got this one from a local computer store. It's made by a company called Qmatics. It's just a um, standard micro USB cable with a normal USB connection on one end and a micro USB connection on the other end. And um, it says on the box that it's for mobile devices. So I'm guessing like cameras and phones and stuff like that. But um, earlier today, when I first was going to make this tutorial, I went to Target to buy a micro USB cable. And the only one that they had was this one right here where it comes with like a bunch of different connectors that you can interchange. And when I tried to do the jailbreak with this cable, it didn't work. So I had to go get the just standard USB. So instead of having it interchangeable, it's just a normal uh, micro USB connector on one end and a normal USB on the other. So um, if you're having problems getting in DFU mode later on in this tutorial, uh, that's one thing that you're going to want to check for is to make sure that you have um, a working micro USB cable. So basically, the first thing you want to do is open the Season Pass program. And... This first screen acts just like iTunes, where if you hit Create IPSW, uh, Season Pass will just automatically download an IPSW file for you, and then uh, jailbreak. But if you have your uh, if you have your IPSW downloaded like I do, you can do the same thing that you do in iTunes to manually select the firmware. Where in Mac you hold down Option, or in Windows you'd hold down Shift and then click the button, and that way you'll get this dialog box that'll let you just pick the Apple TV firmware from wherever you have it saved to. So I'm just going to do it that way. Now this is going to be just like um, Ponage Tool and Snowbreeze where it's going to unzip and then it's going to package all the files that you need for the jailbreak into the firmware. So this takes a little bit of time. I'm just going to fast forward through this. point the custom firmware is done being created um, it doesn't put it on the desktop so don't worry that you can't see it because you'll find out in a second that you're not even going to need the, need to know the location of the custom firmware but uh, anyways at this point you just want to connect the micro USB cable into the back of your Apple TV and remember what I said earlier you don't need a power cable for this part um, I'm not sure if it'll even work with the power cable but just leave the power cable disconnected and then grab your Apple TV remote, and this is going to be just kind of like uh, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch where you got to hold down a series of buttons, except for it's a lot easier on the Apple TV. You just hold down menu and play pause for seven seconds, and then you release it, and then it, that's it. You're in DFU mode. So right now I'm going to hold it down for seven seconds. And then release. And that's it. Second, you'll see Season Pass found a device in DFU mode and it's going to start exploiting the firmware um, for you. And the great thing about Season Pass that's unlike any other jailbreak for any other iDevice is that it has a script built into it that automatically does everything from this point forward for you. You don't have to do anything else. So right now I'm not even touching the computer. You'll see it can, it's going to open iTunes for me. It'll automatically hit restore for me. It'll automatically go to where the custom firmware was created and select it. So you don't have to do anything. You just sit back and watch it do its thing. And at this point, it is now restoring the custom firmware you created 
and you can just sit back while it goes. I'm going to fast forward it for you. And that's all there is to it. After it's done restoring, you are now jailbroken on your Apple TV. So you can go ahead and connect it to your television now. Um, the one thing is that um, currently it will not put a season pass menu on your TV, so you'll actually have no way of telling that it's jailbroken. But as long as you did this process and it says that your t Apple TV has been restored, then you're jailbroken. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Thanks.